In this video, I'll demonstrate how to control standard servos with the Jetwino on a Jetson TK-1. If you've not already watched the video on how to set up the Jetwino, then please look at that first if you want to follow along. The Jetwino has a built-in shield for the Arduino Do, and it communicates with the Jetson using the Gen 2 I2C line. The shield has a row of three pin headers that fit servo connectors with signal, power, and ground. Twelve of the connectors can be used to control standard servos. The shield also has a jumper that lets you choose to power the connectors from the 5 volts from the dues regulator or directly from battery power. Servos can draw a lot of power though, so when using them you should always use direct battery power for them. For the examples today, I've set it to get power from an external source. I have it connected to a 6 volt DC 1 amp power supply. Let's first go ahead and plug in a couple of servos to pins D4 and D5. Today I'm using an HS475HB servo that runs at 6 volts. This is the standard connector for it. You can see it's got yellow for signal wire, red for power, and black for ground. And you want to make sure that the, the black ground is up on the top row here. And we're going to go D2, D3, D4. Then let's open up the standard servo script in the Jetwino software Python folder. Alright, first thing we do is kind of the standard, we import our Jetwino module and pin mappings, we set our servo pin, then we use a servo attach method which basically tells the Arduino that we're going to be using this pin for servo control. Then we can use servo write and servo read methods. Servo write, you give it the pin number that you're going to be, for the servo you're going to be controlling, and you give it the angle between 0 and 180 that you want to set it to. Servo read will read back the last command that you gave it. So one thing to, to be careful of here is that you're not actually getting the real servo's position. You're just getting the last command you sent. So you're not going to be able to use this to monitor how your servo is doing. So within this script, we move it to zero, read it back, move it to 180, read it back. Then we have a loop. And within that loop, we range from the full 0 degrees to 180 degrees, and we write each of those in sleep, so basically we're just going to be going a lot slower through the whole loop instead of at full speed. Then we sleep in between each one of these loops, and then finally we call servo detach to exit out, or to tell the Arduino that we're done using this pin as a servo. So that's the bulk of the script. Let's go ahead and see about running it. Open up a terminal window. So now let's run our script as the root user. and we're now controlling our servo. So I'm going to go ahead and exit out of this a little early. Now let's go back quickly and modify our script to move the servo to D5 as well. One thing we need to keep in mind here is that you must have a large enough power supply for however many servos you're using. If you don't, then one or more of the servos will simply stop working or it may cause your Arduino to reset. Let's go in here, add a servo pin 2, set it to D5. And then we'll just have this just do part of the loop. We'll leave it out of the other piece. Let's 
let's actually go ahead and hook up our D5. We forgot to do that earlier. Alright. Then we'll... And let's rerun the script. And now we're controlling both of our servos. You can simultaneously control up to 12 servos using the Jetwino. Also, if you look in the software C folder, you can see that we have equivalent functionality available in C as well. So, again, we open our Jetwino, and we have our similar servo attach, servo write, servo read, and servo detach, and then we can close the Jetwino. So, I'm not really going to go, you know, demonstrate this one, because it's essentially exactly the same, it's just in C. I mainly wanted to point out that you also have this uh, interface available as well. So, as you can see, it's really simple to perform servo control on the Jetsync TK1 using the Jetwino. Please subscribe to my newsletter so you can be informed of new videos and when the Jetwino crowdfunding campaign goes live. And please subscribe to my YouTube channel and like this video. Thanks for watching.